yourself in your house. Get in the house and lock hey, the door. Go right Stand there! Get the Stand there! Out there! Some startling moments when five police officers are in a shootout with a man who had just shot a state trooper on Christmas night. This is Coin 6 News at 4 o'clock. I'm Jennifer Hoff. And I'm Dean Tilkin. Today, Washington County's district attorney says those five officers who killed James Tilka were justified. Tilka had already killed his estranged wife and shot and wounded OSP trooper Nick Cedarburg. And today, for the first time, we're seeing how that shootout unfolded from an officer's body cam. Our Tim Becker joins us now live with that. And you've watched this entire video, Tim. Yes, I did. And all of this happened at night. So what might otherwise be graphic is instead invisible. Still a warning. It may be a bit intense for some of you to watch. The DA released about 10 minutes of video, including the chase along Highway 99 going after James Tilka, who, as you mentioned earlier, had shot and killed his estranged wife. That chase led to a dead end road called Gim Lane, just west of Sherwood off Highway 99. What well, today's report reveals five different officers eventually converged in the area after finding Trooper Cedarburg wounded from gunfire. This video shows how the officers formed what's called a 360 cell to cover each other when they spotted Tilka, who then fired at them first. Now, what you're about to to see next is how it all unfolded from the body cam of Sherwood officer Stanley Smith. All right, deep breath, everybody. Okay. Someone got the woods? I got the woods. Okay, I'm taking off. I'm going to drag him I got out. the woods. Hey, he's right, right here. Right there. Right there. Well, several officers fired one to two rounds, two other officers, 19 and 70 rounds fired by each of them. A total of 40 shots fired, 20 of those hit Tilka. Three of the officers are from the Sherwood Police Department, one from Tualatin PD, and one from the Hillsborough Police Department. By the way, an autopsy uh, on Tilka's blood alcohol level, level rather, uh, after the shooting or at his time of death showed he had a blood alcohol level of 0.11. That is just one of many details that are in the report that we've uh, posted for you on coin.com to read in its entirety. Back to you.